don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiore. Today, I've got some interesting pieces of information for you. We're going to talk about Baby Jetta Samuachi, and he has revealed how he wants to exit the Ghana Black Stars, and he doesn't want to exit it with any grudges. We all know what happened before the AFCON 2019 with the captain C. Rowe. He wants to leave the Black Stars on a good note and he has left down some specifics i'll be revealing to you what those specifics are we'll also be talking about the ghana premier league a comment from felix annan he has stated what it will take to stop the exodus of players from the ghana premier league we all know when players reach their peak in the ghana premier league they look out for greener pastures in quotes elsewhere felix annan says he has the antidote for that we'll be listening to what he suggested the clubs in the ghana premier league have to ensure to prevent the exodus of players from the league we'll also be talking about coach kusia pia now on beyond the lockdown on joy news sports ministry of some sort have started communications with coach kusia pia to start settlement of his monies the salaries owed him after his contract was not renewed by the ghana football association i'll be giving you more details on that front as well so if you are new to the channel i advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates so we all know our record highest goal scorer baby jetta samwajan a prolific striker in the history of ghana football many people have criticize him over the years and last year for example the captaincy was taken from him he was named the general captain for the afcon 2019 by coach kwesi apia so many so many rumors surrounding that and the reasons for doing that now as samwajan threatened to retire from the ghana black stars and so many calls came in the final one from the president of the republic before samwajan rescinded his decision to retire he came back into the black stars fold unfortunately for him he played a bit part role not a major role in that tournament and ghana exited at the round of 16. fast forward to 2020 third march when coach ck akono called up his first ever black star squad following his appointment on 2nd january Asamwajan was not called. CK Akono at the press conference said that Asamwajan is still the general captain and that he was calling players who had consistent playing time. At that time, Asamwajan was injured with his Northeast United side in India and had been in the country recuperating. Now, Asamwajan has stated that many players in the Ghana Black Stars who have retired left with so many grudges and so much pain in their hearts. He doesn't want to be one of those players. He has outlined how he wants to exit the Ghana Black Stars. I'll be taking you through that today. Now, the Black Stars captain, former captain and gen current general captain, said in an interview on Adum TV that he now looks to leave the ghana black stars on a high note this is what he said if we look at things people leave the national team with pain there are a lot of players i can testify i don't want to mention names but for me i am just there the people at the top have seen what i have done so they decide to give me a farewell something definitely my soul will be happy with although people appreciate me it will depend on how to do it I will do my job till the time I am done. I can decide with my team that I will play a testimonial game. GFA can decide that they will do something for me that is play a game or something. It will depend on the team. Secondly, it will depend on me on how I want to go out about it. For now, I am still in the game, but as time goes on, ideas will come. I haven't planned on how I will exit the Black Stars. I am still playing. It is natural. I could tell you that I will retire in four years, but I can call my brother the next day and tell him that I cannot continue playing. It depends on how the day goes. Every day the human body changes. So let's see how it goes. But for now, I am okay and playing football. So maybe just a Samuajan there outlining how possibly he might lead the Ghana Black Stars and it could be with a testimonial game which he would be looking at the FA to organize for him. 
What do you think about that? Currently, he says he is ready for selection by coach Siki Akono. Should he be included in his plans? And currently, he's still with Northeast United. He has recuperated fully, but no leagues are fully functional except for the German Bundesliga, which will be played today, Tuesday night as well. Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich renewing rivalries. Now, Samoa Jan. We all know has been great for the Ghana Black Stars. Yes, he has done some things that Ghanaians are not happy about. But overall, his contribution to the national team is something that is commendable. Being the record highest goal scorer in the history of Ghana football with 51 goals in 109 matches, surpassing the maestro himself, Abedi Pele, is no mean feat. He deserves a rousing applause when he finally decides to hang his boots. And I think the TFA and the Ministry of Youth and Sports will do the needful to bid our hero a farewell. I move on to my next story. It has to do with Kumasi Asante Kotoko, goalkeeper, who has now gone into the back line. He is now the second choice goalkeeper for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. He is in the person of Felix Anan. Now, Felix Anan has commented on the exodus of, of players in the Ghana Premier League. Now, Felix Anand says that to prevent that exodus of players, the players have to be paid pretty well. He says it's because of the poor pay. That is why you see so many players leaving the Ghana Premier League. And I have to agree with him. Players have families to take care of. They have themselves to take care of. If, for example, playing football is a minimum of 10 years and a maximum of 15 to 20 years you would see that you can't spend your whole life depending on playing football when the pay is meager yet some players in ghana take 200 ghana cities home at the end of the month that is just not right the game they are playing is a risk to their health to their lives we've heard stories of players dying on the pitch what would happen to a player right now if unfortunately that happens not wishing that on any player but it is a possibility and Felix Anand is saying the minimum any Ghana Premier League player should receive should be $1,000 for the current Ghanaian economy but right now if we are being honest no Ghana Premier League side can't even afford to pay that not every Ghana Premier League side Kumasi Asante Kotoko and probably Accra Hato Folk and maybe Legon cities who have nouveau rich investors who are the current owners of the club and so many amazing sponsors but even them i doubt the number of people who are on that thousand dollar paycheck and felix Anan is saying this is the only way that we can prevent the mass exodus of players from the ghana premier league and he is right in a way he is right it is because of money that the players play yes passion comes first but when passion is fulfilled you think about your money and how to take care of everyone who is dependent on you most of the players are breadwinners and felix Anan is saying to prevent them from leaving the ghana premier league pay them handsomely it's as simple as that and they will eventually deliver we've heard of us like kwame conte abdul Atta are leaving the league from kumasi asante kotoko kotoko captain also leaving there before Amos Frimpong and so many other players have left the Ghana Premier League for greener pastures of sort because of better pay. You can't fault them. They have to look out for themselves first before they can look out for the interests of those involved in their lives and they are doing the right thing. Let's listen to Felix Anand. It will take a while. It will take sponsorship, pumping of money into the league, sponsors for the league, title sponsors for the league. So many infrastructures have to be put in place by the various clubs to make this possible and that is all Felix Anand is asking for. To reduce the exodus of players from the Ghana Premier League, this is the minimum pay they have to take and that is $1,000 monthly. What do you think about that? Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments box i move on to my final story it has to do with coach kwesia pia the former coach of the ghana black stars now coach kwesia pia we all know has not been paid his monies but owed him by the fa and the sports ministry after so many complaints and the third letter being sent on friday it was revealed that the fa is saying that the sports ministry is the one supposed to pay coach kwesia pia now on a program on the lockdown Perry Okujoto, who is the Deputy Sports Minister, revealed that the government have started interactions with the coach and are starting to pay the Ghana Black Stars coach. Kusiapia, this money is owed him in excess of $180,000. Yes. Now, the former Black Stars coach on Friday, May 22nd, put out a final letter to the Ghana 
a football association and the sports ministry this is what he said i know that the sports ministry is in talks with kusiapia and the appropriate time w once the issue issues are ironed out he would be paid he said categorically now the former black stars coach on friday submitted his third letter to the fa asking for his arrears in excess of hundred and eighty thousand dollars the fa and the sports ministry are doing the needful i'm happy the letters are currently working to get helping him get his monies that owed him hopefully he gets paid and we get this issue and chapter finally closed and we can focus on what is important that is the development of the ghana black stars and ghana football so that has been it for today i've been looking at coach kwesi apia's money star owed him by the sports ministry perry okudrito who is the deputy sports minister has stated that issues once i owned out he will be paid his 180 dollars plus arrears also as much as outlined probably he wants to end his career with the ghana black stars and goalkeeper of kumasi asante kotoko himself felix anan is saying Ghana Premier League players need to be paid a minimum of $1,000 if they want to stop a mass exodus of the players outside the country. Let me know your thoughts on everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.